is this school zone? Uh, what do you say? A school zone that? A real school zone that? Wagwan school zone! Welcome back school zone! Yes, it's school zone and first up in our program today I'm becoming one with students of the... The Karcher College! Yes, we're joined by senior choir member of the Cartridge Choir, Janelle. Thanks for coming, Janelle. Thank you for having me. So, Janelle, tell me a little bit about how you feel having completed in the recently held Choir Olympics in South Africa. Well, my choir members and I. We feel great that we went to South Africa, halfway around the world, and we accomplished something big is big to us. Silver diploma. So we are grateful. So tell me, what was the experience like? <laughs> so going there, there was a climate change. Um, it was cold, so it's wind when we have summer in Jamaica, it's winter in South Africa. And uh, there were a few choir members that felt ill over the time. But we just kept our confidence up and we don't look on other choirs in terms of numbers. We said, we're Jamaica, we're little, but we're Talawa. So we should represent our country anywhere we go. And we went and we did our best and so we're just grateful for the results. And what, what was the reaction like from the school and from the community when you returned? So we're at the airport and we came up, we saw cameras flashing and the camera lights and the video. Only to know that it was for the choir and so we're so excited. Um, our principal, Mrs. Prim Lewis, she treated us really well. She gave us medals and some crime members were interviewed and then she said to tune in for a little treat after the airport. So we weren't expected to stop at our restaurant. So, you know, we get jerk chicken and festival. They had no idea. We had this whole event planned. We asked the parents that we invited to go with us, the alumni members and other um, choir members we invited to go with us to keep it quiet. We begged them not to communicate to any of the students. And so when they came out of the airport and saw us, some of them literally ran back into the airport. I like to reward people. I like to let persons know that I'm proud of you and say well done. I just want to thank uh, Jamaica on a whole, you know, all the persons who who have helped us along the way to have reached South Africa to represent the school and also Jamaica and a whole. I'm gonna ride in the chariots in the morning, Lord. I'm getting ready for the judgment day, my Lord, my Lord. I'm gonna ride in the chariots in the morning, Lord. I'm gonna ride in the chariots in the morning, Lord. I'm getting ready for the judgment day, my Lord, my Lord. Are you ready, my sister? Are you ready for that journey? Oh, yeah. Do you want to see my Jesus? Oh, yeah. I'm waiting for the chariot because I'm ready to go. Right, right, right in the chariot to see my Lord. Right, right, right in the chariot to see my Lord. Right, right. Right in the chariot to see my Lord. And are you guys looking forward to entering the competition again in the next two years? Yes. Hopefully, we'll enter the competition in 2020 Flanders, Belgium. Awesome. Well, all the best, guys. Thank you. You are watching School Zone. Yay! Read a book magazine newspaper. Read a book right now or later. Read a book for the higher education. Read a book for what I say. Hi, I am Zane Glenister and I received perfect scores in the final GSAT examination. Hi, my name is Zia Francis and I also attained perfect scores on the final GSAT examination. My parents helped me the most. They had always been motivating me and telling me not to give up. They sacrificed their money to send me to school and extra classes, which I was very thankful for. 
Without them, I probably wouldn't have passed for champion. My mother pushed me to my limits because she kept on saying that, that I can do whatever I can through Christ. And my teacher, she taught me everything I knew. And I wasn't very good at Comtas, so my Comtas teacher, Mrs. Davidson, she helped me to do my best. Emmanuel has helped me to become a spiritual, religious Christian. Helped me to understand trustworthy, honesty, and also helped me to, to become who I am today. And hopefully Campion can help me continue those traits. I wanted to go to Immaculate because it looked like a good school and like it would be very good for me to continue my learning experience as well as Emmanuel helped me. Just do your best because you can't do any better than that. Relax and don't study all the time and make sure to do some physical activities also. Just believe in God throughout the whole way. And like, don't like forget him, because he'll take you through the way. To the parents, I say don't pressure your children. Just at least make them do a little work each day and not be glued onto the TV or the phone or the tablet. Dengue fever, dengue fever. Dengue fever, dengue fever, dengue fever. What is dengue fever? Mosquito bite you, get dengue fever. The Aedes aegypti, they bite you and left you. The virus pass on when them inject you. Dengue fever, dengue fever. Now what we can do to prevent dengue fever? Cover the drum them, throw away the water. From tire, any container where we use for store water. Dengue fever, dengue fever. What else you can do for stop dengue fever? Screen up your door, screen up your window, cover up proper and stop the exposure. Buy two net, buy two kyle and insecticide, them the mosquito plants spoil. Dengue fever. And that's all we have for the program today. Thanks for stepping into the zone. But just before we close, we want to ask the talented Decartred Choir, do you have any advice for students who want to be rounded in school? Well, I would say never underestimate your abilities. Try everything. Always explore, expand your horizon. Um, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. You don't have to be the best. Just be yourself. Awesome. Hmm. Dance abroad before you dance abroad. And that's it. I basically don't have anything else to say. Well, see you later is good enough. All right. Whatever she says. Bye. <laughs> school zone. School 